Stop 7. Recreation and Conservation. As you make your way along Lakeshore Drive, through pine-covered hillsides, past sandy coves and scenic cliff faces, it's easy to understand why National Park Service planners viewed Guernsey as an ideal location for a park. But their vision for this site included more than recreation. Park planners also saw merit in setting aside part of the undeveloped land surrounding the reservoir as a conservation area. One of the new ideas the Park Service brought to Guernsey was to divide the park into two distinct use areas, a recreation area and a conservation area. Recreation development was limited to the eastern half of the park, while the western portion remained undeveloped as a conservation area. Dividing a park in this manner was an extremely novel idea for the time, as both land conservation and public recreation were relatively new concepts for Park Service planners. Once the decision was made to divide the park into two distinct use areas, planners turned to the task of developing a transportation network within the recreation area. One of the Park Service planners, Thomas Vint, proposed the idea of developing a comprehensive plan to determine how people use the park for hiking, camping, boating, or simply viewing the scenery, and then creating a network of roads and trails to interconnect key spaces within the park. The result of this plan supported the development of three distinct access systems, a roadway for automobiles, hiking trails for pedestrians, and equestrian trails for horseback riders. And because Vint felt that the landscape was such an important part of the experience as visitors traveled through the park, his plan also proposed the construction of two distinct roads. One roadway was Lakeshore Drive, which would curve its way along the scenic shoreline and provide access to boat ramps, camping, and picnicking. The other was Skyline Drive, designed to meander across rolling hills and meadows as it carried visitors to high bluffs overlooking the reservoir with spectacular vistas. The efforts and insight of park planners like Conrad Wirth and Thomas Vint significantly improved the development of trails and roads in recreational areas throughout Wyoming and the rest of the country, providing visitors with the opportunity to truly experience the diversity of our park's landscapes, sites, sounds and smells.